Alright guys, what's going on? We got a PS3 tutorial for you today. This is for your PS3 running custom firmware 4.46. This is for any versions of 4.46 custom firmware, whether it be Rebug, Alexander, Rogero, um, Habibs, or um, Unknown. Uh, the 4.46, this will work with DEX consoles as well. Uh, so you can do that with a DEX custom firmware is demo firmware. So if you have a DEX base running the 4.46 DEX base, you'll be good to go. Also for CEX based custom firmwares, which are the more popular ones, which you see on my channel all the time uh, and all that. But uh, this is React PSN version 2.27. And what this basically does is when you install this on your PS3 console, this modifies the wrap files of the download content. For an example, if you download something on an account or something like that and you have another account and you simply don't want to purchase this again because why should you? Because you already paid for it at once before. Um, you can transfer this to that account using this wrap file. Now I do use this as a combination of PSN Nope, uh, which is another program, but I will have a combination video with these two uh, package files uh, applications on the PS3 and showing you how to do that as well as using it for uh, PS2 conversions and things like that. You can also use React PSN to enable your uh, PlayStation 2 Classic Manager and the placeholder uh, allowing you to use that because if you just install the placeholder it'll say you have to uh, buy this content or whatever and it's not for your account you have to modify the wrap file with uh, this package right here so uh, without further ado let's go and install this so what you're gonna do is download this file here react PSN version 2.27 and it is a RAR archive so you will need an extraction program for this and simply all you're gonna do is take a USB stick and plug it in and you can see this right here, this is my USB drive and uh, what you're simply going to do is just take this React PSN version 2.27 package and drag and drop that to the root of the USB. Allow that to copy over like so and it will copy over. Once that is copied over uh, and don't be alarmed I will put a text document in here with uh, instructions on how to use React PSN because there's certain button combinations that you need to use for each step uh, so I will put a text document in here for you guys so when you download it it'll be the React PSN 2.7 and uh, readme text document uh, for now but that's all I have right here this is the fresh download file uh, and the link will be below but once you copy that to the USB stick all you gotta do now is simply unplug that USB and plug it into the PS3 and I will meet you guys there and we will install this and I will go through on how to use this program so I'll be right back and I'll meet you guys at the PS3. Alrighty, so here we are back at the PS3. Simply what you're gonna do is go all the way up to your game section here after you plug your USB device in. Click X on install package files. If you're running the rebug you will see three menu options. Click the center option I believe it is and it will show the same thing as the root of the USB drive uh, plugged in to your uh, PlayStation 3 on the far right USB port. Uh, but uh, if you're running anything else this will just come up like this and uh, all you're going to do is click X and install React PSN 2.7 now I've already done that so I'm not going to do it uh, but I'll scroll down here to my tools and uh, if you have the old React PSN installed already you'll see that it overlaps this so uh, simply what you're going to do is just click X on it and then hold down triangle uh, to boot it up. Now there's other button combinations as well. L2 if you hold it during the boot of this package will back up your files and uh, all that. So I will do the uh, the fixing of the eboot bins which is basically allowing you to use some of your download content and other ones that aren't finished you can back up the wrap files I believe and uh, use another program to activate them. So allow this to do its thing It'll probably take uh, anywhere from 30 seconds to 5 minutes depending on how many uh, game download contents you have because it has to go through all of them to see which ones it can fix and which ones it cannot. Um, so mine should only take maybe about a minute, something like that. But then again, you never know. But uh, just let it do its thing, run through, don't shut off your console, don't unplug the power, and... Uh, don't press any buttons on your controller while this is doing this and most importantly do not unplug the USB uh, because then it will just freeze the process and then your PS3 will freeze up and then you just have to start all over again and you'll have corrupt data so 
It's almost done. Moving on. Once it's finished, it will automatically reroute you to the um, to the uh, XMB of the PS3. Now what you can do is go into Tools again and boot up the React PSN one more time and hold down L2. Holding down the L2 button now, and it should start the backup. React PSN 2.0 backup of wraps. Basically, this one, what this is going to do, it will create backup of the wrap files for the games that we just kind of did. So allow that to back up. Some may take longer than others, others may not. It all depends. How many does that say? 76 wrap files. So it's backing up 15 to 76. So allow that to do its thing. This one might actually take a while. Hmm. Either that, my console froze. I'll be pissed if it did. <laughs> Alright, just a moment. I think it froze. Yeah, it froze. So I'm rebooting. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to try this again. Hopefully it won't freeze this time after the reboot. So, um, going back down to my game category here. Do -do 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 -do. Down to my tools and to my React PSN. And simply all you're going to do is start and hold down the L2 button try and back up the RAP files again and here we go any day now you fucking kidding me right now Alright, yo, fuck you, PS3. Come on, go back to the XMB already. Some reason is resetting its shit. Thanks, cool. Alright, I'm gonna avert the crisis right now. Tools, react PSN, delete. Yeah, fuck your face. Get out of here, you stupid fucking piece of shit. Moving on. Back up here, install package files. Come down here, I'll install a fresh copy of it. If you experience the problem that I'm experiencing right now, try this, maybe it'll work. Tools, no, now it's an unknown. Come up here. Thank you, now it's in English. For some reason, I didn't have the current version. Hold down L2 and allow it to boot. And there we go, it's backing up the wrap files. Okay, apparently it's gonna fucking take forever. But allow this process to finish, and then the wrap files will be on your USB stick. So I'm just going to let this run because I have no idea how long this is going to take. Uh, but other than that, rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, the download will be below, and uh, hopefully this works out well for you because I'm not going to sit here and wait a half hour for this to fucking do its thing. Uh, so, uh, But stay tuned for more videos to come out, and uh, I will be showing you how to activate these wrap files on your PlayStation console so you can use your download content. So rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Check out my website, software-reborn.com. And uh, I will be testing this on other firmwares to see how stable it is and which firmware is the most stable. So in time in this video, I will state which firmware is the most stable, one that I see fit. So take it easy, guys, and I will talk to you later.